Long ago, there lived a man, blessed by the gods and revered by the people as their savior. His name was Arden Lucis Kylum, and he was to have served as the first king of Lucis. has been identified as 28-year-old Mars Sapientia. Although Officer Sapientia allegedly reported for duty at his appointed time, fellow officers say he disappeared soon after and has not been sighted since. Officer Sapientia is a tall, fair-skinned male and was last seen wearing his Border Patrol fatigues. Anyone with information on Officer Sapientia's whereabouts are requested to contact the Crown City Police immediately. And now a word from the Public Information Bureau. Today marks the anniversary of the founding of the Kingdom of Lucis. The Founders Day Committee has prepared a number of attractions in honor of this auspicious occasion, including a parade around the Citadel as well as a statue of the Founder King himself. All are welcome and encouraged to participate in today's festivities. This has been a message from the Public Information Bureau. What about you? Now, on to the weather. Shouldn't you be looking for your buddy? Today in the Crown City, we expect mild oh, and sunny no. weather with nothing but blue skies. I'm on special the assignment. The may experience some inclement weather, starting in the evening and continuing throughout the night. <sighs> that concludes today's news and <sighs>
Oh, Arden, you can't expect me to believe that. <laughs> oh, but I do. You have my word. <laughs> well, in that case... <laughs> <sighs> You look exhausted, my love. Are you all right? <laughs> I am. Hmm. Ah. The gods bless me with a power and a purpose to cure people of what ails them. I must see their will be done. Your devotion shall not go unnoticed. The gods will doubtless be watching over you. Just as I shall be watching over you every step of the way. <laughs> it seems to me the cure for your exhaustion is comprised of two things, one of which is rest. Oh? And the other? <laughs> is me. <laughs> <laughs> alive <laughs> just as the ancient texts told uh, who take him away Everything is fine here. Roger that. We'll transport the subject to your location. And we'll have the medical team ready as planned. What's the situation over there? Nothing to report. We're just...
way. Era. Somnus. Forgive me, brother, but the throne seats only one. Era. Uh, gods, no. Oh, 
Arden Azunia. Chief Bisithia would like to see you. <sighs> Might as well head out. I dare say this outfit wasn't tailor-made. Not the most enthralling view. Come, have a seat. your food getting cold, do you? Are you enjoying your stay? No. You've been asleep for years. Learning to appreciate the waking world will take time. Perhaps I can help enlighten you while we dine. How long has it been since you brought me here? 204 days. Roughly seven months or so. Then again, the Lucians had you locked away in that prison for nearly two millennia. I'd be more surprised if you hadn't lost all concept of time. You must loathe those Lucians for what they did to you. Uh. What is this food? Meat, cloned in this facility. D cloned? We cultivated somatic cells, used them as donors to fuse the nucleus transplant cells to the recipient oocytes, and then we- Enough, I've no ear for the ramblings of a lunatic. What is it you want from me anyhow? What about me interests you so? You said it yourself, didn't you? You were chosen by the gods. And frankly, with powers like yours, I'd say you're nearly a god in your own right. We need those powers that you possess. With your strength on our side, we could finally put an end to the gruesome war with Lucis. You too must desire the fall of the kingdom that cast you into exile. <sighs> My desires are all in the past. The man who wronged you may have died long ago, but his descendants live on to this day. Surely you must bear them some feelings of ill will. My feelings are none of your concern. Come along. This is the fruit of my labor. A small portion of it, that is. I envy you. A human life is too short to truly understand all there is to know about the world. Go on, have a look. Oh. This is our world?
The line of Lucis was chosen to eradicate evil from Eos. And with the divine on their side, how could they fail? and found scarcely a mention of you. I barely believed you existed till I saw you with my own eyes. With your help, my research is proceeding smoothly. You have my thanks. Perhaps uh, I'd best cover up. Gods feel looking down upon our world. Here we have a model of imperial territory. It includes our present lands as well as our future acquisitions. Feel free to have a look. recognized as a new species roughly 200 years ago. According to ancient texts, however, humans have suffered from a parasitic plague wrought by the demons for upward of two millennia. Demonification is caused by a mutant strain of plasmodia that takes root in living creatures and changes their cellular structures. Infected creatures begin to disperse miasmal particles, the spread of which is known as the Star Scourge. This model is a replica made from plaster poured into a demon-shaped cavity discovered deep underground. Demons sublimate when their vital functions cease, so this particular specimen must have vaporized after the mud around it had already solidified. Scientists believe this subject burrowed into the earth in order to shield itself from the light of the sun. There's something you should see. Come with me. I found something most interesting on the Rock of Ravito. If my experiment on this specimen succeeds, it might provide the information you've been looking for. This way. Is 
that? Ifrit the Infernian. <gasps> you subjugated a god and brought him here? He was sound asleep, just like the legend said he'd be, so we put him on ice. Do you think you could turn him into a demon? If you managed to demonify a deity, you could learn truths no mere mortal could ever dream of knowing. You'll access 2,000 years of his memories, and if you can control him, he'll be a weapon of supreme power. It's certainly an enticing offer, isn't it? Just think you could exact sweet revenge through divine retribution. How do you know what I want? I don't, but I know you have no other options. Well, shall we? Come see the fruits of my Magitech research. This way. The ancient civilization of Solheim, forefathers of our magic technology, once flourished on this land. Had they not incurred the wrath of the gods, they may have remained prosperous to this day. And you wish to restore them to greatness? To surpass them, which is why I need you to lend me your strength. But I'm certain magic technology and demons are the keys to unlocking the door to a new future. Lucians? But how? Code me, squad. Adagium sighted. Initiating Requesting engagement. backup from Nimbus squad. Shutting down communications until all clear. Ah, so, you've come to kill me, have you? Or die trying. Just as you have killed me, I'm right to say it. I'm going to satisfy you. I'm going to satisfy you.
Kingdom and burn them all to the ground. <gasps> no, to be king? chosen to be king. Huh? 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 I never dreamt he would try to kill you. But he did. <laughs> Somnus fooled everyone, so he could usurp the throne. Everything that happened, it's all his fault. No. Listen to me. It's my fault. I'm the one who ruined your future. This was divine retribution for my sins. You've no sins to atone for. Gods! Answer me! Why have you burdened us with this fate? Era! Oh no! Era! Please! In the names of the gods above, Fulfill your calling, Arden, and punish me for my sins! Era. Kill me! That's right, kill her. Put that monster out of its misery, just like I did. Like you saved that innocent man by turning him into a demon. Please, Arden. You must live. I can't. Not without you. <laughs> Come. Why not give the lady what she wants? <laughs> <laughs> Once again, you failed to save her. No surprise. A monster can do not but destroy. <laughs> I'll never forgive you, 
Somnus. This monster may not be able to destroy you, but I'll see to it that I destroy everything you built. <laughs> Hear me, gods above. No longer shall I supplicate you for pardon. No longer shall I sojourn toward the light. Nay, the path I intend to tread is paved with blood and darkness. No longer shall I seek your guidance. This path is mine to tread alone. Ha 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 ha!